out in the wild, survival often comes down to precision. One wrong move, one miscalculation, and the stakes can be high. The same principle applies in the world of modern warfare, where guided missiles reign supreme. These aren't your average projectiles. They're sophisticated predators with a nose for destruction. Unlike unguided rockets that simply follow a ballistic trajectory, guided missiles, as the name suggests, are designed to hit a specific target. This ability to adjust their flight path mid-air is what makes them so deadly and effective. Whether it's a tank rumbling across the desert or a fighter jet screaming through the sky, a guided missile can track and eliminate its prey with unnerving accuracy. But how do these technological marvels actually work? What goes on inside these high-tech weapons that allows them to outmaneuver and obliterate their targets? Let's break it down, step by step, and explore the fascinating world of guided missile systems. First things first, a guided missile needs to see its target. That's where seekers and sensors come in. Think of them as the eyes of the missile, constantly scanning the environment and providing crucial information to the guidance system. Seekers can be active, passive, or a combination of both. Active seekers, like radar, emit their own signals and analyze the reflections bouncing back from the target. This gives them a precise fix on the target's location, even in adverse weather conditions or at night. Passive seekers, on the other hand, rely on detecting signals emitted by the target itself. This could be the heat signature from an aircraft's engine or the electromagnetic radiation from a radar system. By combining different types of seekers, guided missiles can acquire and maintain a lock on their targets with remarkable tenacity. It's like a game of cat and mouse, but in this case, the mouse doesn't stand a chance. Now that our missile can see its target, it needs to know how to reach it. This is where the guidance system steps in, acting as the missile's brain and nervous system. The guidance system takes the information from the seeker and uses it to calculate the optimal trajectory to intercept the target. This involves complex algorithms and real-time adjustments, taking into account factors like speed, altitude, wind direction, and even the evasive maneuvers of the target. There are several types of guidance systems, each with its strengths and weaknesses. Some missiles use inertial guidance, relying on gyroscopes and accelerometers to track their position and make course corrections. Others use command guidance, where the missile receives instructions from a remote operator, like a pilot in a fighter jet or a ground-based radar station. One of the most sophisticated types is homing guidance, where the missile uses its own onboard seeker to track the target autonomously. This gives the missile a high degree of accuracy and makes it very difficult to evade. We've got the eyes, we've got the brain, now we need the muscle. The propulsion system provides the thrust necessary to propel the missile towards its target at high speeds. This could be a solid fuel rocket motor, a liquid fuel engine, or even a ramjet for hypersonic missiles. But raw power isn't enough. The missile also needs to maneuver with precision, making split-second adjustments to its flight path. That's where the control system comes in. Using a combination of aerodynamic surfaces like fins and wings and thrust vectoring, the control system ensures the missile stays on course and intercepts its target with pinpoint accuracy. Imagine a bird soaring through the sky, effortlessly adjusting its wings and tail feathers to navigate the air currents. The control system of a guided missile works in a similar way, constantly making minute adjustments to maintain stability and execute complex maneuvers.